Let's try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've ever come across or watched a phone application tutorial where someone was giving an illustration and that very illustration was being recorded in real time on that same phone and you wondered how do you do that? That is called screen recording and that is what I want to show you today. Welcome to my channel Shared Moments with Justus. Remember if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. So let's get to it. We're talking about screen recording and as I mentioned before, anything that I'll be doing on this phone will be recorded not using any external camera but using the very phone that i'm running the illustrations on so i'll be showing you steps on how to do screen recording but i'll be using my phone as well to record the very steps so that you can follow with me so the first thing you'll need to do is to go to the android application store or play store so i'll open that then search for X recorder. So there it is. You need to see something like this screen recorder and video recorder. So since I've already installed the application, in this case, I'm just going to click open so that I can take you through the steps. This is a free application, so it will come with a lot of uh, advertisements. <laughs> okay, so let's open the application. It's open and then uh, Right here on the right side of my screen is a, if you click on this uh, pop-up window, you can see some options you have here. It's because I'm already recording using the same application, uh, but you can still navigate through. The application is open. So if you look at the bottom side of your screen, you can see there are several options, video, photo, um, edit, and settings. So I want to take you to the settings. Before you start the recording, you need to get your settings right. So first thing here we have is uh, the resolution. So you have several options here. You have 200, 240p all the way to 1080p. Go for 1080p if you can, because it also depends on, this also depends on uh, the storage space you have on your phone. On quality, you have options of auto, high medium and low go for high and then we have uh, frame rates we have 15 options of 15 30 and 60. so let's go for 60. Uh -huh, since that's the highest and then orientation is whether you want to record in landscape or portrait okay so you have an option of recording the audio as well or not. And then the next one is the location where you want to save or where the recording is being saved on your phone. The next important thing is uh, recording mode. You have normal and you have performance mode. Normal mode, they say it's unlimit has unlimited functions suitable for common record without frequent operations and ch changes on screen. And performance mode, limited functions, but more stable, prevent crash and lag during recording. So I'll go for performance mode. Then the next option is a countdown before start. This is the time that it will take once you say start recording, how long it will take to actually start recording. So once your settings are ready and you're comfortable, then the next thing to do is to do the actual recording. So once you click on this option, in this case, we are already recording. So the stop button you're seeing here will actually be, will indicate the option to record and not to stop. So once you press on that option, the phone will start recording. You can be able to see it's indicating that it's been recording for quite some time now. So if you want to stop recording, all you do is just to click on the stop button and it will stop recording. It's pretty much, you know, straightforward. Once you've recorded, you have 
the ability to edit that which you've already recorded. It's, it's basic editing really, but I think it's, it's an added uh, advantage. There are two, op two ways of going about it. You can check it up straight from the application. If I click on video here, it will bring me the videos that have been recorded. Or the other way is to go to your library, phone library, and you'll be able to see under screen capture, it will bring you some of the recordings that you've done and that have been, have been stored already on your phone. So you can open it from here or you can open it from the application itself. So you can be able to preview uh, your recordings, but if you wanted to edit the same video or other videos on your phone using the same application, you go to this second last step here, right down here. If you click on edit, it will bring uh, those particular options, edit video, edit photo, or merge video and photo. But for now, we are interested in the edit video option. So once I click on it, it will open the gallery, the phone gallery, which will bring up all the videos or images stored on your phone and you can select which one you want to edit, whether it's one that has been recorded using the X recorder or any other video that is found on your phone, you can actually be able to edit that. So let's pick any of the videos around available here. I have one interesting one here. So you select, then tap next. So the video is here. Okay, so you have options here. Uh, you can be able to trim, you can uh, adjust speed, you can add music, you can add text, you can uh, adjust the ratio, aspect ratio, you can crop, and you can rotate. So let's try and uh, apply a few of them for trimming. When I click trim, I can be able to adjust where I want the video to start from and where I want the video to end. So that I can be able to do easily. Once you're done, you just uh, say yes. Uh -huh. So the next option is speed. You can adjust the speed of the clip. I don't think we want to do that now. You can add text. If you are here, just tap and write anything you want. Shared moments. with justice. So I say yes. You can adjust the size of the text. Placement. You know, things like that. And then you can adjust the aspect ratio. You have quite a number of options here. The other option is crop if you want to crop you don't want to do that now or if you want to rotate the image you can as well do that so it's it's a simple application but with quite a number of uh, options if you ask so that's basically what you get uh, when it comes to editing then once you're done with the editing you can save your changes so in this case, we don't want to save any changes. So we just exit and uh, back to our application. That's pretty much uh, all that the application offers. But the most important thing is the ability to do a screen recording while you're demonstrating or giving an illustration using your screen. And I thought probably this will be something to share with you. So if you find this information helpful, in any way, please kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials and shared moments. Let me know what you want me to feature next time. So until next time, God bless.